All right, all right, this is Coach B. Thanks for joining me for today's tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to never take a blurry picture. I know you were hoping to see Wes Creasel photo since this is his channel, but Coach B is taking over today. That's right, Coach B is taking over today. That's right. What, what's that? What's this? Read it. You're a beautiful person. You're a good person. And uh, nobody told that day. I'm telling you that. All right, can we get on with the tutorial? All right, these tips are in no particular order. Tip number one, stop walking when you're taking a photo. Stop walking when you're shooting. Stand still for fuck's sake. You're adding to the problem. Let the camera do its job. You're not making a movie. Plant both feet, face the exact direction of your subject at a 90 degree angle. And when you stop swaying like a tree in the wind, take the picture, push that trigger. All right, tip two, use the back button focus. Wow. All right, we probably got too complicated for this crowd, but trust me, just Google it and try it. Changed my life. Made me the photographer I am today. All right, tip three. This is for my real basic crowd. I know you're simple. Learn from the landscape photography crowd. They're real simple. Just hike around, looking at bush and hills. Even they know. Use tripod. Since you're basic, tripods have three legs. Get out of here with that hipster monopod wedding photographer boat. Tip four, work out, get buff, tone up that core, work the leg. You're waving like a piece of grass in the wind. That's probably why all your old pictures are blurry. Start now, give me 20. <laughs> Tip five, use a timer. Put that two second or 10 second timer on and let go of the camera using your tripod or the ground or a wall or the top of your car. I don't care, just something stable because you're, so, you're so weak, you're blowing like straw in the wind. Don't touch the camera because you're too weak. Tip six, <laughs> because the subjects I'm shooting, I need to move the camera. I can't use a tripod. Yes you can work out get strong lift your camera like a man tip six use a faster shutter speed why do i gotta explain the basics to you people tip seven all right tip seven eat some protein man man get some muscle on you stop with the vegan save the planet diet eat burgers eat steaks eat cows lots of them tip eight keep your eyes so low getting blurry photos in the same as getting grainy photos but if you're watching this video you need help keep that eye so low 100 200 maybe 400 but that's it all right tip tip nine improve your grip improve your grip all right this is what you need to do improve your grip elbows against your side one hand on the side of the camera one hand supporting the barrel and that's how you shoot you is like a human tripod improve your grip Tip 10 with your new improved stability from your improved grip with that handheld grip. Lean into a solid object like a pole or a wall or a car or a tree. There's lots of solid objects on the planet except for you. So find something stable and lean on it. All right. Tip 11. Work out. Bike. Swim. I hate the sissy modern word cross train. But yeah, do that. And you know, not CrossFit. Don't do that. Well, and if you do, don't get all weird and tell people all about it. Walk up the stairs instead of using the elevator. I can't go. I don't have time. Do you need a life coach, son? No, you just need you just need Coach B to kick you in the tip 12. Tip 12. Maybe your camera is grabbing the wrong focus point. You ever think of that? Did you ever think of that? Try a single auto focus point. Which point should be in focus? This one. Hopefully that tip helps you. Tip 13. Increase your ISO so you can increase your shutter speed. Do I have to spell it out? Do I have to make it basic? This is tip 13. Increase your ISO, increase your shutter speed. All right, hallelujah. Next tip, moving on. Tip 14. Use a shutter speed There's at least the same or faster as the focal length of your lens. Now, this is kind of a math problem for you people who are kind of basic out there, but if you shoot with a 50 millimeter lens, shoot at least 1 50th of a second. If you shoot 100 millimeter lens, shoot at least 1 100th of a second. I always shoot handheld with an 800 millimeter lens, so you know I'm shooting 1 8,000th of a second. How? How do you do it? Coach B, I got strobes, little ones. I got strobes for days. Tip 15, use a smaller lens. Let me show you. Now, Maybe you're not strong enough to use this lens right here. Maybe you need to pop that sucker up like this and use this little bit of baby lens. Look at that thing. It's so sweet. It's so cute. Anybody can shoot with that lens. You better use a small lens if you can't hold the big lens. Tip 16. Use a lot of camera. This camera too heavy for you. And go out there and shoot with a little baby GoPro. Use a baby GoPro to stay in focus because you can't move it because you're all weak and wobbling all over because the camera heavy, too heavy. Just use a baby GoPro. That's right, light a camera. Tip 17, work out. Just work out, get buff, get strong. Tip 18, 
use the camera on your phone. If your phone photos are blurry, you a real sick puppy. You really in need of help. Try and upgrade from your LG chocolate sidekick or your Motorola Razr, Nokia headache or whatever you got. Tip 19. Use manual focus. Maybe your camera is dumb. You know what? It is. It only works the way it was designed to. So if it's picking the wrong focal point, maybe it's your fault. You need to take responsibility. Put it on manual focus and look and make sure you see the darn thing is in focus when you push that shutter button. When you push that shutter button, when you push that trigger, make sure the darn thing is in focus. Use manual focus and use your eye. Tip 20. Have you cleaned your lens? Maybe that's why your photos are blurry. Idiot. Tip 21, technically cheating, technically, but turn on image stabilization if your camera has it. Don't be a dummy. Tip 22, take photos where there's plenty of light. Try the daytime. If you can't be trusted to put the tips above into play, then take photos at high noon with a flash on a tripod. I'm getting sick of it. I only got four more tips left, man. Please, I can't help the world. I can't save the world. Tip 23, use live view and digital zoom while shooting to zoom in to that area to see if it's in focus. All right. Can you do that for me? Tip 24, use a single out of focal point. Don't have this big old focus area where you're trying to get the whole globe in focus. Pick a single out of focus point on your camera. Every camera's got the ability to do that. Choose an out of focus point that works for you. Tip 25, take multiple photos. Don't be a fing idiot. Plan for your to make mistakes and miss the shot. That's right. Plan for your stupid to make mistakes and miss the shot. Just take another one and another one. If you're Coach B, you just need one shot. I can hit any shot in perfect focus at any distance. Handheld, walking on cold, uphill, in the snow, just like I walked to school as an infant because there was no food in the house and I had to go to work in the factory. Tip 26, in portraits, in portraits, focus on the eye. Make sure that's what's in focus because that's where everyone is gonna look. Don't be the guy that gets the ear in focus but not the eye. Well, the bride's nose is in focus. I'm shooting at 1.2. That's a f***ing game. I, I, I guess I've done it a few times, but I always say since then, don't shoot weddings when you're hammered. Tip 27, I was considering whether or not to include this one. I was reading a blog. I don't like to admit it, but this little old writer, she was saying, use a good lens, use a low f-stop lens. At first I was like, give everybody brownie cameras like my mom had growing up. On Instamatic like my dad used when I was a kid. My dad never took a blurry picture in his life, God bless his soul. Or an instant camera Polaroid like I had. Just shut up about the gear. Get perfect shots no matter what you're working with. Just takes time and effort and focus and a little bit of muscle. Well, then I thought, this article, it's got a good point. It's a good fast lens that lets in more light, which helps everything else along the way that your camera's trying to do. Even with helping you get sharper photos in challenging conditions. <laughs> bloggers, <laughs> bloggers, ah. Good point. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you stuck around. I hope you watched the whole video. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you click like, uh, click subscribe, click like. I hope you join this little West Creasel photo channel. I mean, he's a mess. He really needs your help. He crying not because he ain't got enough subscribers. He's like, oh, you can make another video, coach. I said, shut up, boy. Go to work, earn that money, and you, and you can, can make videos all your life. You get on that train, paper, 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 paper. You're gonna get rich on that train. You're gonna get rich on that train. Yeah. Uh, ah.